you. Well, hey all, and welcome back. So today we have Liege Maximo with the Skullgrin armor from the new Power of the Primes line. And he has the time travel ability. So look quickly at the package. Get a shot of that new little ability that we were about to add. Same thing as the last one. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box and see if he's worthy of our collection. And here we have him on the package. And if you're not familiar, he is in reference to a G1 Decepticon Pretender. And it looks like they've actually put a Decepticon logo on him, which I wasn't sure because these were all Primes. And so I didn't know if Primes were all Autobots or how that works. So we have his armor here. And it actually looks pretty sharp. Uh, much better than I feel like the photos have shown. We have a lot of nice molded detail back here. Very sort of power armor mech looking. Less so than the personified uh, typical Transformers are seeing, especially with Pretenders. Though the front is roundish and organic, we do have a very square blocky black back. Which makes me wonder, let's go ahead and pull this guy, if they were using the same back, and they are not. It looks like they're actually using a different back. So it's not out of uh, cost cutting. That is a design decision, whether you like it or not. So looking at here, the other thing I'm really impressed with is the very, very fine details in these hoses and muscles and things like that, all these little vents and holes. This is a lot better molded than I would have expected for a figure of this size. Uh, I almost feel like even more so than the other guy. So, of course, articulation, this pops open, arms move, and that is about it. So, looking at his Prime Master, there's the back. This one actually sort of has a face look, but also has sort of a crest look. Uh, so, it's pretty ambiguous in how its form is. But, of course, I think you could stick this on a head, uh, or a, a Titan Master, and have a pretty sort of grotesque-looking comical face. Uh, in a way, it kind of reminds me of Visionaries with that look. It actually would have been really cool had they done holograms for these instead of just these paint-on things and made a Visionary reference. But here is the Prime Master himself. And also nice sculpted, sculpted detail. Same general look as the rest of them with some basic arms, legs with those same little notches on them for pulling them out easier, and a painted face, which is nice to see this happening so far in this line. Um, it's actually a purple head with gray painted on it, rather than a purple painted face. Maybe it's easier to do the larger stuff than that. Uh, maybe that's something they're really thinking about in their engineering. So we'll pop this guy open, um, and he just pops in there. That's really all there is to it. And he fits in there quite securely, especially compared to uh, if you try to put a Titan Master in there. Snap it shut. The eyes are actually hollow, so it's like he's looking through rather than just being a sealed suit. So this is pretty cool, but it's not done. There is another component, and this component is his claw. So we have a very small peg here that does fit his hand, and he has this sort of claw weapon, which I don't feel like looks as usable as perhaps the uh, weapon we saw with the other one. Pull him up there for comparison. But nonetheless, it is still there. And we just pop this off, and there is hinge system here on the top and we just snap it on and there you go folds nicely backwards of course we've got this terrible printing on there um, both sides actually so it's a shame that they're putting them on there there must be some manufacturing reason for it so you can either have it above them reminds me of kind of a Mad Max character uh, where they have just barbs and wires and poles and stuff stuck behind the back uh, but it does fold out of the way for your convenience. And these guys have a weapon mode. So I've shown the review of this guy before. And what I'll do is I'll grab Prime real quick. So here is the leader Optimus Prime, who has two peg holes on the side, as well as his fist that can hold. And something to show real quick. So the Prime Master actually goes up here. And the way they're held in is there's two little pegs here for the feet, just like with the, the Titan Masters could fit in. So if you're wanting to use these Prime power-ups, they actually don't work. They will fit there, but they don't stay because they don't have the holes that the feet have of the robots. So we'll just pop him out here, and if you grab by the ankles, it's easier to pull him out. Fold it shut, fold him up, 
and these are cross compatible because they're all about the same. Pop the feet in there in the little peg holes and there's our weapon. So with the handle popped down we can put this in Prime's arm and then he has a claw weapon which I think is a pretty cool gimmick considering. So we turn his arm in, you don't hear the, see the robot so much so it doesn't stand out so much. And then we can put the other one in his hand The peg had popped out. His hand's actually quite tight. So maybe it's best to go in from this approach. And then we can rotate him. So there we go. He's got two Prime Masters powering him up, uh, giving him special weapons, which is pretty cool. I do like this sort of Wolverine claw that they've turned him into. Plus, he has a pretty cool robot mode. Um, I think the Pretender gimmick is going to be why I collect these. I think that's sort of the coolest aspect of them. It is neat they turn into weapons, however not necessary. But I'll, I'll just play them both ways, uh, as they're kind of a fun little thing to mess around with. But like always, let us know in the comments below what you think of these guys. And make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.